my scrappy friends I'm working on a shimmers layout for you I just posted this the other day and I am so I love this layout so much so I'm gonna do some mixed media and I'm gonna start off with this stencil and I'm gonna use some shimmers I'm using salt to the earth and I'm using a different white paste that is um, like not it's more shimmery and it's a texture so anyway I'm using those and I'm mixing them together you'll see me do it in a second by accident I got some of that uh, peachy keen spray and I think I'm gonna put some of this on first but I, later I'm gonna go back and put some more on so <clears throat> this is the peachy keen so this month we're doing something fun and we're using a color that we maybe don't use very often and we're trying to use that for um, our projects and so I pitched picked peachy keen because it's a color that I don't use very often I don't use like a peachy color too much so it's like an orangey pink and I and you'll see later on at this point I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it uh, I'm just working with what I have <laughs> which is how I like to roll I actually really like doing layouts this way starting off with something that I'm don't have an idea it kind of clears my mind of like ideas um, so that I can just play and have fun because this is why I like to do mixed media is that it's simple and you just play and have fun and get messy and then later on you find something that works with what you're doing so sorry my head's in the way I'm standing up to do this so I did both sides it's a six by six stencil so when I put it back to back the way that I just did it will come together for the most part there will be a little bit of a like a line in the middle and this is where you just need to make sure that you are um, putting something there so that you can't really notice it so I'm just cleaning it off now you definitely want to make sure you clean your stencils off really good every time you use them because otherwise that texture paste will stick and you really it's not as bad for the bigger ones but for the intricate stencils it's not fun so I had some Heidi Swap like gold foil stuff left over they're like gold foil flakes I got them from Christina and in a mixed media kit that I had her build for me last year <clears throat> and I had just a few of these left and I thought that this would be really fun so here's a picture of what it looked like once I finished it <laughs> so now you're going to see me finish the rest of the mixed media part so I took out some holly and ivy and I'm gonna you know I added water to it because it's an inklings and it needs water and then you let it sit for a minute and then it gets it's nice and juicy and amazing so I at this point I'm thinking hey I probably would like to do a Christmas layout so that's why I picked that it's like a minty green <clears throat> I thought the peach and mint would go well together and then with that gold it would be really nice so here is after it dried and I let it completely dry and as you can see, I had added a little bit more of the peachy keen so that there's a lot more media on there. And I really wanted it to cover over top of some of the media from the stencil too. And you'll see that, especially in the close up. So this is the photo that I decided to use. It's a picture of coffee and my coffee cup with coffee in it. <laughs> It's a common thing in my house for me to have coffee. And I love the holiday season because there's tons of different coffees that are holiday tasting. And I love that. I love this part about the holidays. So I'm going to document it. So I pulled out these tags and I was thinking about maybe trying to do some kind of grid style. I'm not really sure. I did put a little bit of that pattern paper that I used behind my photo up at the top and so I'm just kind of moving things around a little bit 
this is just a process that you sometimes you got to do if you're not coming into a layout with a plan <laughs> just kind of figuring out what do you want to do and so at this point I'm gonna build some layers behind my photo and I'm trying to pick some non-traditionally colors or colors that we're seeing a little bit more lately in our holiday theme stuff so I know this year Crepe Paper has some more peachy colors, which I don't know if I have. I do have their kit, so, or I have Click Kits kit. But for right now, I'm using last year's Crepe Paper stuff for the most part, and then I'm gonna add some Felicity Jane, and you'll see how I do that in a minute. Because <clears throat> I really, so I'm building my layers, and I use that Buffalo Check Plaid, and I use that pink paper and I thought about using this candy cane type pink and red stripe but I'm gonna decide not to use it because this is the point where I realize I need more of that peachy color or that orangey color I need I need more of it I don't have enough and so I'm going to cut the border off um they had like a scallop border on felicity jane's like papers that are like that and so then i just cut a little bit off of each of the papers oh this is where i cut it off so i cut a little bit off of the sides so that there'll be a little bit of a border so you'll see it matted and i do this a lot of times with my mixed media it kind of helps because um that that cardstock that I'm using right there is a little bit thinner than the kind that I usually use and so it warps a little bit more than the American Crafts smooth cardstock so this is close to my heart cardstock it's really nice and smooth but it's just not quite as thick so because I didn't use any gesso or anything I think it just warped a little bit more though it might have warped more if I use gesso because sometimes it does that but it's okay and as you can see, there is a little bit of ghosting. So if you are someone who uses both sides of something, know that. <laughs> that some of your stuff might ghost a little bit. It's definitely a problem when you have a planner. But anyway, so I'm going to add this one um, pattern paper that had some dots. That's pretty much the same color. And I'm going to use that underneath that other stripe. I know that it's kind of hanging off. And then I remembered that I had this dot paper. And I really liked the green in it. And I thought it matched pretty close to that holly and ivy color. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to use that washi tape to hold it down because it's not a very big stripe. and Because I wanted to get as close to those dots as I could. And then I'm going to tear this as well. It's just one of those things that I've been doing lately that I kind of like the look of, um, especially when you're doing a lot of media. I don't know. I guess it feels more organic. So I'm going to, I added a little bit more of that Buffalo plaid there down at the bottom. And then I decided, Hey, I'm going to have this hang off a little bit. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use that as a base for one of the tags. So this is now where we're getting to the part of the layout where I'm seeing more of a, of something, of a vision for where I want it to go. <laughs> because before this, I had no idea. So I did have a red and white, like Christmas, Christmassy twine in there. And I decided I didn't like that. So I picked one that had more of like a coppery color. And I'm going to step staple it so it looks like it's curly cute a little bit this just adds a little bit of texture and stuff and then i picked another pink paper from felicity jane i used quite a bit of their papers and there it was just something that i bought on sale so um this is one of the things that i love about shimmers is that i can use whatever papers i'm not stuck to just like a kit i can pull because i'm pulling to match with the media that i do so I tend to like these layouts a lot more because I can do that. And so I thought about using that white 
with the black line on the inside, but I didn't have enough G's, so I'm going to use this glittery gold font that I had, and then I'm going to use the tile from Maggie Holmes, which it worked out really nice because there's a lot of gold on here, and so it's going to pick up the gold on the mixed media. It's going to pick up the gold on that tag that is matches really well. <laughs> that was a Maggie Holmes tag, I think. It's been sitting on my desk forever. <laughs> and then I had that other bottom tag that has a little bit of um, gold paint on it with a brayer. And then I used that ho, ho, ho. And I actually glued that down. I don't know if you could see me do that. But I actually glued it down with a little bit of tape runner so that it's stuck there. Um, so it's not going to... I thought that that would look really cool to have... the the tags on either side of the top and the bottom and then my title and I like to put my photo especially when I'm just using one photo not quite in the middle because then that makes sure believe it or not but when you have your photo directly in the middle sometimes it can actually make your eye a little bit lazy like lazier if that makes sense <laughs> I don't know I don't understand the reasoning behind it but it it's less work for your eyes to focus when it's a little off center. So that is why it's not directly in the middle. Plus I wanted to make sure that I got as much of that gold flaking as possible. And so now I'm just picking some of the Jip Hoard glitter stars because we already added glitter stuff. So and then I found this, um, coffee cup and so I'm going to put that but I just I really wanted something else to go behind that photo so I used a little bit of um a paper clip from Pink Paisley I just thought that that would look really cool it's not gold it's copper but that's okay so uh, in the end I don't think I end up putting anything there but I do use that American Crafts Happy Holiday Wishes or something I really like the typewriter font of that and then I used um the American Crafts um, star snowflake thingy underneath that heart. So, and that heart was really similar to the Peachy King color. So once again, I'm matching colors. And I like to do this match colors of embellishments with the colors of the mixed media that I'm doing. I really think it just kind of, it, not kind of, it, uh, it really helps tie everything together and it makes it feel like it's one collection instead of a whole bunch of different products from different companies. Um, especially when you're mixing like Maggie Holmes with Crate Paper, with American Crafts, with Felicity Jane. There's different color profiles and off-white and white and you get these different looks. So... Especially that Share the Joy is more of an off-white. That's from Maggie Holmes as well. That was also sitting on my desk forever. <laughs> so I decided to add some cork stars to kind of go with the other stars that I had. Um, and I'm going to paint these with Coral Reef, Good as Gold, and High Holly and Ivy Inklings. So I just needed to add a little bit of water. Just the water that was in my brush was enough to um, activate it. So that's the one fun thing about those um, brushes, the watercolor brushes that already have water in it. And so I'm just going to put the mixed media on there and it works really well. So I am almost done with this, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> I just have to let it dry for a minute and I'm going to use my glue and I'm going to put the glue down first once this is all done. Oh, I didn't do the coral yet. So I wanted to pick colors that were really similar to the other colors that I put on. I mean, obviously I already used the holly and the ivy, but the coral reef isn't quite the same color as peachy keen, but it's really similar. And then the gold will match with the gold and the layout. So here I'm just using like a tacky glue. Um, you could use whatever kind of glue you want. Uh, some people like those glue dots. I'm not a big fan of them, but you know, if it makes your life easier, go right ahead, right? So I'm just kind of pairing these with other ones. And I want to put quite a few of those cork stars around the photo in that one little area. And um, amongst the media, I just feel like it feels right there. That's really how I do this scattered look to make it not look so perfect. 
<laughs> perfect, but perfect. Not perfect, right? I mean, you don't want it to look too precise, I guess. Unless that's the look you're going for. So now I'm going to do my journaling and I'm going to do it around the outside of the layout. Maggie Holmes does this a lot. Or she used to. And she used to do it like around her cluster. And that would have looked really fun too. Except for I had all the media so it wouldn't have worked. But um, <clears throat> I'm just using a precision pen. But you could use whatever kind of journaling pen that you want. And I really like having this. Um, doing the journaling along the outside of the layout. Because it really helps once again bring your eye to the inside there's a lot of splatters and stuff like all over the place so it just kind of brings everything together even though there is that border I just really like that black against the white and the color it just looks really fun and it's just a fun way to do your journaling so you're going to see some close-ups don't forget to check out shimmers black friday sales they're gonna have some fun stuff going on and if you are really loving this peachy keen don't forget to head over to the store and check it out and look at all the other fun colors that they have there is a new stamp set out <clears throat> that is in the store as well and i will see you guys later for another shimmers layout i hope you guys have a great holiday season and um I hope that you have fun documenting your holidays. Bye.